I think longings can be our teachers, particularly the longings that we dismiss or disown or suppress or shame ourselves for having. The longing can be a signal, a flashing light saying to us, this is important. Deep down, something's missing. Deep down, it would, or deep down, it would be so beautiful to have. Much as we would wish another person who has our life to have the fulfillment of that longing, that longing legitimately can highlight what is appropriate to seek. Then, a little bit of longing goes a long way. Then I think the question becomes, okay, what to do about that? And then I think it's helpful to um, take practical action as best one can. Second, help yourself by internalizing aspects of the full result of the longing, even if the whole pie is not available and can only eat slices of the pie. So let's suppose a person longs for being amazingly respected, appropriately respected by a whole group of people. Well, and that's just not happening. Maybe that boat sailed. Maybe it's just not going to happen in this life. And yet that feeling of being really seen and prized may be available not from a whole group of people, but from a friend or a family member or a spiritual teacher. So right there is an opportunity to take in that slice of the pie. More generally, to finish, you're getting at this third condition of what I call healthy desire non-attachment to the results, which is maybe the hardest of all. And that's a larger topic. I kind of summarize it as aspiration without attachment, in which we pursue uh, our aims, healthy aims pursued through healthy means. We pursue them and we can pursue them with a whole heart and willing to look foolish and to fail and a flop even, in skillful ways. Setting ourselves up to win, setting ourselves up to succeed as much as possible, while knowing we, we may not get it. And there are various things that can help us uh, operate in that way. And one of them is to experience the dignity and the self-worth and the virtue, the courage the, that's involved in going for it with a whole heart. That tends to buffer us and protect us and insulate us from uh, flopping, if that's what ultimately happens. Mm -hmm.